Forgiveness is something that is very hard to do a lot of times, but it's definitely something I feel that like is very important. Um, if you don't forgive the people that have hurt you, you end up hurting yourself in the long run. And this is kind of what I mean. Before I get started, do not forget to like and subscribe. And next to subscribe, hit that little bell, the little notification bell, so that you can stay up to date with moi simply with me and just a reminder i am doing shout outs um so the best comment will get the shout out in the next video so yeah anyways first i want to start off with the whole reason as to why i felt like this video was an important video to make i have been watching lately the things unfold between eliana from carbonation and nature boy and her father and her family in general um, and it really saddens me because I can definitely relate to Ileana. I can relate to the emotions that she's feeling. I can relate to seeking or, or, or filling the void of that hurt and pain or whatever I felt like um, I was, that I was neglected of, or if that's even how you say it, but whatever it is I felt like I was missing. So yeah, I can definitely relate because I have been there and I have ran to men, especially older men, as a way to escape or to fill a void that I feel like um, needed to be filled or to gain or get whatever it is I felt like I was missing from my family or my, especially my father. I seeked it in men and a lot of times it was subconscious i didn't realize i was doing that until i took took the time to really reflect on what the hell i was doing um so i can definitely relate to iliana and i can relate to everything she says about her father although i can relate to her in many ways um i do feel that it's very important for her to forgive her father and not necessarily for her father or or forgive her parents or whatever but for herself because until you forgive you're going to always be angry and it's always going to eat you up inside um and i say this with experience so now let's go talk about myself if you want to know more about the iliana or whatnot you can look all that up um but as far as me and as far as i go i was very angry with my dad especially for a long long time um, and that anger manifests itself into disrespect towards him. I was always, I would be blatantly disrespectful. Um, and I just wouldn't care. Like, I know you guys seen my, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I have, um, struggle and I struggle with sexual addiction, but it was to the point where I wanted my father to know this is what I'm doing and I don't care I don't have no respect for you and I'm I'm gonna go sleep with this guy or I'm going on a date and I just come back and openly have conversations with him um, or tell him things that if I had respect I wouldn't have like just very op openly talking about sex and and men and leaving his house to go and be with random men um <laughs> and it, it was almost like a slap in the face like i don't care like fuck you and and all kinds of stuff um and i didn't realize that that's what i was doing until i took years later until i started trying to fix myself and work on me um and i realized that Honestly, I've just been angry with my dad. Angry and um, hurt. I'm wanting him to acknowledge the things that he has done wrong and the things that, um, and, and apologize basically. Like, really, I just wanted that. And I wasn't getting it. If anything, I was getting more of a he's the victim type thing. Like, oh, poor me, and oh, this happened to me, and oh me 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 and it almost felt like okay well what about me 
Like, I understand that these things happened to you when you were growing up. And I understand how that can affect your life. And I understand um, what you're going through. But what about me? Can we take time to reflect on how you as a parent has impacted my life and my way of thinking and hurt me and the things that you've never said or done to to fix it? Can we reflect on that? And for a long time, I was just angry like i'm sick and tired of hearing about you i'm sick and tired of hearing about your struggles i'm sick and tired of hearing about you know um your pain because now all of your struggles and all of your pain are causing me pain and you're supposed to be doing the opposite of that you're supposed to you're supposed to lift me up you're supposed to make me feel like a princess i am you are the king right although you don't feel like that you are the king and i'm supposed to be your princess and i'm supposed to feel it and i'm supposed to know it um and a lot of times um it it just didn't feel that way <laughs> so it did in the beginning in the beginning it did like when i was little i loved my daddy my daddy was everything to me um i remember running up to him and he picked me up and i'm like daddy so when i seen him it was always like on the holidays and stuff like that part time but every time i seen him it was so like that's my king that's my daddy until i realized that the things that my grandmother used to tell me about him were right um, and that was around the age where I started. I went from a high honors to a, from a high honor, high honors, honor roll student to like just skipping school and running away and stuff. And that was around the same time um, that I realized like my dad ain't shit. <laughs> I don't want to say it like that but, um, because I don't feel that way now. But around that time, that's how I felt. Um, you know, my grandmother's telling me your dad's on drugs. My grandmother's telling me, you know, your dad's just like your mom and all kinds of stuff. And in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I got one messed up parent. You know, my mom, you know, she's not really here and she's doing her thing on drugs and stuff like that. But at least I have one who's not like that. Um, so I was misbehaving at my grandmother's and I was sent to my dad's and my dad was never home. And I remember going, I was so excited, like, yeah, I'm finally going to have one, at least one of my parents raising me, not being raised by my grandma. Um, and, you know, I can at least have a family with my brothers and all that stuff like that. And if that was shot down quick, because when I got there, I didn't really have much interaction with my dad. He was either always working or always sleeping. And I really didn't understand what was going on. Um, until I started really paying attention and at nights I'd be up late at night staring out the window waiting for him to come home so I'd just be there would be me my siblings and my stepmom um and although I love my stepmom she didn't treat me fairly at all um so just being the kid you know I'm not her child um and my, now I'm here with this lady I don't I'm not her child she treats me differently like visibly treats me differently um i'm always cleaning the house that's my chore to clean up behind them their big messes and my little siblings and stuff or babysit while she go out to the club and it's like okay where's my dad <laughs> like my dad's not around i don't have uh, i can't confide in him i can't talk to him and he's just lost in his own little world somewhere um doing whatever he was doing and that used to really get to me um and i started misbehaving like really bad i started misbehaving and becoming very sexual and doing things that i at a 13 year old age just shouldn't have been doing but i realize now that i was doing a lot of that out of anger too um, out of anger towards my father so I was hurting myself because I was angry with him 
um and, and at that age 12 and 13 you just don't you don't realize that's what you're doing you start acting out in any kind of way in hopes to gain that a uh, that attention or for someone to acknowledge that something is going on and to address it um so anyways yeah i was very angry with my dad because i was like how basically how dare you be on drugs too like how like angry just in general with life like i don't have i felt like i didn't have no one to even talk to my mom wasn't around and then i have my stepmom she was constantly lying on me <laughs> um about certain things and then i would have to steal like i would have to steal stuff like money or clothes or whatever because i didn't have none so it, they started making me out to be like this bad kid when really you know i was a neglected kid i don't care how nobody puts it i was a neglected kid i was stealing clothes and stealing things just so that i can have i can get by um i would steal things like um her underwear and her pants or my sister's shirts and i would steal things like money out of their purse or in their hiding spots so that i could have lunch money for school or so that i could have a snack or something at school something to eat like i remember taking money and it would only be like a couple dollars and then go down the street and buy me like a cookie cookies or something to hold me over for the rest of the day until i got home and then a lot of times when i got back you know my dad still wasn't there he was missing um there was a sink full of dishes there was never no food to eat um so and they were either always out at the buffet or something and i'd go sometimes and sometimes they'd leave me at home because they felt like i was being disrespectful and didn't deserve to go but i'd be left with no food and i remember one time i had to call my uncle um my dad's brother and and tell him i was hungry and explain to him that you know this is what happened and then my and my dad ended up leaving me in the house hungry there's no food and they all went to the buffet and i remember that like my like yesterday and my uncle came with some food or whatnot and i ended up getting in trouble for even involving my uncle in it but you know i was just angry because and for a long time i was angry because I was always made out to be like this is horrible child um and i just felt like i wasn't really want like i wasn't really wanted um there or whatever or i was only useful because you know they needed someone to help keep the house clean or whatever and I, not necessarily my dad because he just was just mia but my stepmom you know was always comparing me with my little sister or always just everything was just like very awkward i'd always get in trouble for things that my younger siblings did but then i'd always be left with them so she could go out to the club and stuff so it was just very i don't know but anyways long story short um i started doing things that at my age i probably shouldn't have because i was getting acceptance from men the stuff that i like the the attention that i wanted from my father oh boys was very happy to give give me um attention but that attention didn't always come in a positive way i was also very angry um with my father because i felt like he's supposed to be a, my protector you're my father um i didn't ask to be in this world i didn't ask um for anything i didn't ask for none of this shit but your one job is to protect me as your daughter that is what you're supposed to do you are supposed to be a protector a provider and a protector right and i just never got that from my father and the fact that he didn't do anything about or even wasn't even angry if anything he flipped it all on me about um those grown-ass men <laughs> having me out on the street in chinatown in boston prostituting and stripping and all kinds of shit um 
he didn't do anything it was kind of just like that was my fault and i felt like i know as a child i was molested like i was molested and in my heart i know i was molested by the same exact man <laughs> who molested him like i was left with that man i feel like you're my father and you have one job i just said this to protect me now if you're allowing me to um go with your mom who i love by the way i i love my i, I had such a close bond with my grandma i really miss her but it's just a lot of i don't know like you know that your uncle when your uncle did something to you and, and molested you and now you know your your mother leaves your child with your uncle um why like i was just angry like how come you couldn't be man enough to say no like don't take my kid over there i know what that man did to me and know what he's done to other people and so I know what he probably would do to my child. <laughs> but I don't know. And I was just very angry. I was very, 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 very angry for a long, 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 long time. Um, and just a couple years ago, I had to say to myself, what is harboring all of this anger really doing for me? It's not doing anything for me because I just keep revisiting it. I keep revisiting the hurt. I keep revisiting the trauma. I keep revisiting the why, the what if, and the how comes. And it doesn't do anything for me but bring me back to a state of depression and bring me back to um, a state of feeling like less than and make me feel like unworthy. And then I go and seek um I try I go and go to try and fill those voids and the way I would fill those voids was through unhealthy behavior and sexual interactions with men and a lot of times especially as I got older I started to realize these men don't care about me they just want to enjoy my body but it got it had gotten to a point where I didn't even care because I just needed that for the moment and I was so also just trying to relieve the pain that I was feeling and suppress it and what better way than to do that than through sex right no <laughs> because then afterwards you feel like shit even more shit and then you start oh everything my dad said was true and everything this and you know I started getting really angry for him angry at him for even telling me as a child you're gonna be a hoe and you're gonna be this it's almost like he spoke certain things into existence and exactly the stuff that he had said is what happened like literally i left there after him telling me oh you're gonna be a prostitute and you're gonna be this and you're just like your mom um i leave there and i find myself in a situation where i'm being forced to prostitute and and forced to escort and well escort prostitute whatever same shit right forced to strip at bachelor's party bachelor parties and all kinds of stuff literally like not even i think a full month after i was gone so yeah um dcf basically ended up putting me into a mental institution a 13 year old child into a mental mental institution because they figured that something must be going on with me or something must be wrong with me to the point where i put myself in unsafe situations now where like a lot of things have happened that made me just be like what the hell like where like my mom i don't i'm not so much angry with because she was always really open with me and i knew what was going on with her and i knew how she felt and i knew it had nothing to do with me my father was the opposite and you know i knew now as an adult i know it has nothing to do with me really but younger i felt like i was just like 
something is wrong with me and my dad doesn't love me and he doesn't he doesn't care to even protect me and you know you know all kinds of stuff like why won't he just pay attention and try and figure out what's going on with me or you can see just pay attention to my behavior and 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 step in and apologize and say sorry anyways so in order for me to forgive i had to be able to accept that sometimes you're not always going to get a, i'm sorry you're not always going to um somebody's not always going to recognize their faults um they're not always going to apologize and sometimes things in their life are just way too all over the place for them to even acknowledge that they are doing something wrong like they can't even fix themselves or or get to a point where they can acknowledge that they have made mistakes like i do things all the time and sometimes i have to days later or hours later i sit and i think and i'm like no, I really probably shouldn't have did that. I real, really probably shouldn't have said what I said. So being a parent, um, it helped me be able to now relate a little more to my father and find better understanding because I'm a mom and I make mistakes and I've made some big mistakes. Um, just being a young parent, I've been a parent since 17. I was pregnant and had my son at 18. So I've been a parent my whole adult life um i had to learn how to be an adult along with how to be a parent all at the same time um and i'm still learning because i've never really had nobody teach me or show me or anything so i know i've made some huge mistakes maybe even some traumatizing mistakes being a parent um but what I've learned is that to be open and honest, there's one thing I've learned from my mom um, is that although she wasn't perfect, she was very open and honest about her shit. Um, and I respected her for it and I loved her for it. And I felt comfortable going to her, talking to her about things that I was going through because she was just so honest and real. So being a parent, it's important that you apologize to your children when you make mistakes you acknowledge those mistakes and you acknowledge how you could have done something better um and you apologize because we're not perfect we're we're human too we make mistakes the worst thing you can do is to just act like you never did anything um and to be mad at a child for, for 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 being angry as something that they have every right to be angry for um and so if anything i've definitely learned that from my mom um and you know i'm able to to use that as a parent when i make mistakes because sometimes i make some big ones but when i make mistakes or even when i'm displaying behavior that they might not understand as a child or they might they might be able to, you know, they could flip and, and make it, they could flip or through because they don't understand and make it out to them, it being about them or me not caring about them um, or whatever. I make it a point to c conversate with my children and let them know that I'm going through this. I may, sometimes I won't always be so, you know, they're young, so I keep it age appropriate. But, you know, mommy's going through something right now. And I, if I have been snappy or, you know, whatever the case may be, I apologize. It's not you. Um, or if I know that it's coming, because sometimes I know ahead of time before it comes and I try and stop it. But I, before I, um, you know, I will, I will alert my children and say, hey, listen, mommy's going through something. Um, if I start getting irritated easily or, you know, um, you know, point it out to me. Let's work together as a team. Point out if you notice something in my behavior that you're, you don't like, talk to me about it. You're not going to get in trouble. And that's something I never had. 
um and that's something that i hope will will although i've made mistakes um i hope will help my children deal with those mistakes that i made um it's just me being open and honest with my mistakes and acknowledging my mistakes and apologizing for my mistakes um and then try and then working on fixing things so that they I, it doesn't happen again now i have a much better relationship with my father um just because i simply forgave him that doesn't necessarily mean that he's changed anything about himself um but he didn't have to you know i had to change me everything that goes on with you or you allow to go on with you has to do with up here mentally i had to just reset and be like you know what whatever i forgive you and because i love you i'm not going to let that bother me anymore i'm not going to let it get to me anymore um because he still hasn't he hasn't really ever apologized about anything that he's done um even times where i try to I try, I will start a conversation and, and try to get it out of him and I just can't get it out. Like, um, I'll apologize for things I've done or I'll, I'll bring up something in, in hopes to get an apology and it just doesn't happen. And I'm okay with that. Like some, and some people are uncomfortable, um, speaking about the things that they have done wrong and, and admitting to doing wrong like some people they just they might know and they just don't know how to go about doing it um and i don't really know the reason as to why what how whatever but i know i forgive and that's all that matters um so yeah even today like i barely see him he doesn't really make any effort to see his grandchildren he's still mia <laughs> um in a sense like any effort being made to see any effort be you know it to see him it has to be on my end otherwise it won't happen um which kind of sucks but i'm not even like angry about it it's kind of like i've grown to accept it for what it is um and yeah it just is what it is and I'm not about to be angry and mad because you dealing with shit that you don't know how to deal with and and you don't know and you're dealing with it unhealthy and, and unfortunately because I'm your child, I'm at the receiving end of it. Um so yeah, I'm not about to be angry. That is what it is. <laughs> like I just pray all you can do is pray for somebody like that. Pray for them and hope things get better for them. Um and yeah like i've even like i've even come to understanding that because of his lifestyle it's a possibility that i might not have my father soon either um and i'm okay with that i'm okay with that one because i don't have him now physically he's not here really um and I'm okay with that because that's just a reality. And when you start looking at life through reality and not some fantasy like this is what you hope and wish, then things are much easier to accept. So yeah, I just wanted to make that video. It's very important, um, a very touchy topic and very important for people to understand that sometimes forgiveness you have to just forgive like you don't need a reason to just forgive the only reason you need is because forgiving is better for you mentally spiritually emotionally all that um and above and just a reminder i am doing shout outs um so the best comment will get the shout out in the next video so yeah everybody have a wonderful day um and look forward to more videos because I do, there's a few topics on this topic that I definitely wanted to touch base on. So if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, have a good day.
Can only be me.